maybe this might be over criticizing the player here. Well, the Real Reef just took it on to Twitter, uh, that's talking about Richard Sherman's criticizing his game, how all, all in all, he's just being really scared of playing the game. Now, on this Twitter page, it says, Fear of getting beat in man-to-man -man coverage, every snap, every play, the fact that he doesn't travel as a cornerback is lame. Accept the challenge as the best and shut Adams down the entire game. Do it for the game of football. Stop hiding in cover three zone. Okay, so I know there's many different ways that you can play the corner. And I'm, I'm looking at it like this. This is like maybe the wrong timing for Darrell Revis to go ahead and criticize Richard Sherman. Now, back in 2012, 2013, Skip Bayless did say, uh, he mentioned that when Richard Sherman was going through listing one of his best uh, top corners in the league. And um, I think Darrell, he didn't put Darrell Revis up there. And then whatever, Rich Sherman was getting criticized by him and everything. And that's when he said, I'm better at life at you than you. And that's when he was in his prime going with the Seattle Seahawks. Now I look at Richard Sherman, you know, his results here. He's a, I believe he's a great corner. I mean, hell, I mean, he's he's doing good with the system. Was especially with the Seattle Seahawks in that particular time. Won a Super Bowl, went NFC championships. Now he's going to the Super Bowl with the San Francisco 49ers. Darrell Revis is known for playing man to man and, and, and pretty much just holding it down on that defense. Revis Island. Yes, that was very prone that was really prevalent with the New York Jets. And he was he was very successful with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as well. We can go in here and test that, but I just feel like with this, you know, with Richard Sherman, he's doing good with the scheme. It's all about scheme. According to what Rogers Cromarty was saying, he used to play for him back um, back in the day. Um he was three years retired right now he's played for the Jets he didn't have to rush in and, and and blitz in at the quarterback his main goal was to just to play zone and uh have it covered that distance that's all it was and I just think in this particular moment it's it, whatever works for the system if you're winning NFC championships AFC championships you're going to the Super Bowl multiple playoff appearances you're doing something right because football is a team effort that's the only thing I I just kind of disagree with the Royal Revis on this is that, I mean, you individually want to attack Richard Sherman. I mean, because what? I mean, just for all corners that, okay, maybe he's in the mass media a lot. And then, yeah, he does uh, trash talk a lot, but he makes plays, especially when the quarterbacks throw it, throw it his way. It either gets deflected or he gets an interception. It's one of those two and he forced fumbles. I mean, he's doing good. He's, he's winning. He's getting his mindset for the Super Bowl. I think he's doing something right. And this, especially for a guy who's getting older and he coming back from a torn Achilles injury, that's amazing, man. And still producing. Darrell Revis, I mean, people want to go ahead and go into the counter effect that, okay, well, what Revis, what about you? You decided to go ahead and, you know, um, just destroy what, well, forget about your team with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because you want an excessive amount of money. You want a whole bunch of money. You feel like you're the only one producing in the corner. And see, you had that individual uh, attitude. That's why you didn't really get anywhere. And this is where I'm really getting upset because it's like, you're not getting anywhere with your team. So you was like, oh, it's just me. Yeah, you're a talented player, but what about the other people around you? Are you mentoring them? Are you helping them out? Are you helping other people around you to become better? You got to stop having this individuality mindset and expect to win it big. I feel like the whole purpose of solo football is to win a championship, to have the best season. If you fail to do that, you had a failing season. I don't care about your stats. Shout out to Ben Roethlisberger when he was playing he said he don't care about stats. I mean, yeah, he's not going to be reckless and just throw the ball any kind of way and just throw get interceptions to put his team into a, a bad position. But for the most part, he cares about as long as we win the game and I, I, and I improve and get better than that, that that's all it is. I don't have to be like focused on scoring four or five touchdowns a game. If that happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. At the end of the day, are we are aligned with our, with our team. And I just think that this is a whole, just a bunch of BS just think he just don't really understand the whole concept of team and then they kind of realize his understanding that wow this is why the Rodriguez never won a Super Bowl you can't win a Super Bowl by yourself if you're the only one there can you cover 11 people on the field like come on I can you cover all those receivers by yourself I mean yeah he may pay cover two or cover four or whatever in the zone and then he got the safeties backing him up that's cool I mean, he's not even, he, he might not even be the leader of the defense. Long as he's doing his good job. You got quarterbacks like Aaron Rodgers. You have Drew Brees. People who go against Russell Wilson, who go against um, Richard Sherman, don't even want to throw it to his side. 
And when they do, it costs. Same thing with the Minnesota Vikings, the Kirk Cousins. They threw it to him in that divisional game. And guess what would happen? Interception. It's just little things that happen, bro. Like, so if you coming up with different strategies of an individual who's playing in the corner position, then they're doing something right. They're doing their job. It's a team effort. That's all it is. Man, he focused on winning championships, man, and creating legacy. That's all you have to do. So, Richard Sherman, keep your mindset on this. I'm just very little disappointed with the world brief is going to compare himself to to Richard Sherman, like it's an individual thing. You, I mean, don't get me wrong. You have, I believe, one of the best corners in, in, in football history is probably Deion Sanders, uh, Rob Woodson up there. I mean, Dominique Rogers Cromartie, Rogers Cromartie. I mean, you, I mean, it's like. All the yeah, it's good people. The Champ Bailey. I mean, you got you got a lot of these uh, individual people, man. That's really great. But at the same time, it's all about the team, and I just think that that's what Darrell Reeves lack in his his wisdom. He lacks that, man. You know, it's not all about you if you really want to win. So I mean, just get out of that individual mindset, man. I mean, I do remind what Darrell Reeves has done on the field in, in the past few years and all these things, though. But same time, this is like a wrong wrong time to go in here and and criticize richard sherman especially of an individual who's been producing yeah he plays cover two he probably can't help it and shots rogers cromarty back me up on this as well is that he when he was playing he had no choice when he played the first two three years he didn't have to he had no choice he had to play cover two cover three he had to play these he couldn't just play man to man and stuff he had to play in those specific zones because that's what the team need they, they needed that at that in that particular time, man. That's the only best way that, to win. If he decides to do his own thing, then he probably can put this team in jeopardy. You got to just get rid of that. It was just very immature and just wrong on so many levels. This dude's went to Super Bowl. Hey, and Rich Sherman, um, he, he fired back at Darrell Reeves. It's like, well, have fun. You can say whatever you want, but have fun watching me play while you sitting on the couch. Let me get out of here, man. You got one Super Bowl ring. Get you another one, bro. Don't worry about what Darrell Reeves is saying, though. I think this whole corner individuality thing is all about the scheme. So, yeah, he just won attention. So, this is your boy, Only Joy. You guys continue to like, comment, subscribe. You guys tell me, uh, guys, what you guys think about that, man, for real. I mean, is Darrell Reeves stripping? I think he is, personally. And probably hating on Richard Sherman. I think Richard Sherman, easily going to be probably one of the best. Uh, he's going to be in the Hall of Fame if he if he keeps it up. No, seriously, man. Um, I mean, he has a lot of a lot of forced fumbles, and the guy is still producing, and is a very humble individual, man. So, hey, it is what it is. Uh, the Rev Reeves want to continuously to have his name across all board because of stuff that he did. But at the same time, man, you know, disrespecting the game of football as a team, come on, man. It's not all about individual stats. You got to get out of here with that. I'm out.